excited. First, I just want to thank everyone for coming out today. Um, this has been an unbelievably tragic and painful week for our country and our community. The shootings that we have seen are heartbreaking on so many levels. On behalf of the residents of Grand Rapids, I extend our community's deepest condolences to those impacted by the violence in Louisiana, Minnesota, Texas, and really across the country. We stand in partnership with our community to ensure that all voices are heard and that we create a community in which everyone feels safe. We are committed to continuing on the path to strengthening community and police relations as part of a plan that was co-designed with and by the community. We are committed to nonviolence, and we are committed to unity. There is no justification in terms of what happened in Dallas. We're, I want to be very clear about that. But there needs to be the same level of outcry from elected officials, many who are in this room and who will be watching this, and law enforcement agencies across this country. In 2015, we had 1,000 deaths that occurred while people were in custody across the United States. So my question is, when are we going to stand up and outcry like we're doing right now about that? This is not an issue that should be dividing us. This is an issue that should be uniting us. I appreciate the mayor coming here on short notice. I think it speaks to the relationship that we have with the NAACP, that Clee and I were on the phone early this morning discussing what we could put out collectively to address the tragedies that we're in the midst of as a country. And I appreciate you being here as well. So thank you. 